What is required is a complete shift of mindset, a complete shift of thinking. I'm seeing a lot of questions being asked around what type of leaders do we need to have post-2020? And that's a good question. Uh, and we, back in 2019, before we even heard of a pandemic, we had done some focus groups with some major corporations. And one of the questions we were asking is, uh, have you identified what type of leaders that you need for the future? And the unanimous answer was no. Uh, that, that we're still trying to keep up with what was needed at the moment. They hadn't even got around to thinking that. So anybody who's thinking about what type of leadership do you need in the future, 100% is a good idea. Uh, but just identifying those people and making an assumption that and there's sort of two assumptions there. One is that our current leaders will be able to make the change, the change, uh, and two that giving them new skills is going to uh, going to uh, be enough. And that's the bit I'm wanting to challenge because you know this training in skills and processes that's that's relatively easy and, and manageable. But what is required in, when significant change has been going on, like we've seen this year, uh, what is required is a complete shift of mindset, a complete shift of thinking, if you like. And uh, that requires more than just simple training that needs to take place. Uh, maybe that's a, a real look at have the leaders we've got, got the potential even to be able to, mind, to make the mind shift. Because if the mind shift's not there, then all the training is not going to work. And we know that. So we have to get the mindset right. And what you're asking them to do is, is step out of their comfort zone. You know, I've been managing and leading in this way and it's been working for me. Okay, there's been a few hiccups along the way and I've, I've learned as I've gone along. But on the whole, this has worked for me. Uh, you know, you're asking them to uh, you know, be not so knowledgeable. It's going to be, require them being open uh, to uh, changes that they're not going to be so knowledgeable about. And it, they need to feel okay with the fact that I don't need to know everything. You're, oh, my team's always looked up to me to be knowledgeable. Yeah, well, that's not going to happen. You're not going to have that knowledge anymore. And you've got to be prepared to be vulnerable around that. You've got to be prepared to make mistakes, uh, try things and knowing that it may or may not work and then modify it as you go along. So there's a whole shift in mindset there that's needed. And that's what I wanted to make a point about today is are the people that you are looking at being leaders in the future, uh, are they going to have the willingness and willingness means confidence? OK, if you know, there's a whole subject around confidence, if somebody is not confident, all the training in the world is not going to work for that person. They've got to feel confident and be able to see themselves as doing the job that's required of them. And if they can't see that and feel that um, and, and the consequences of that, then none of the training is going to work. So does their willingness and the confidence to go through this change? Are they uh, willing to uh, listen and have an open mind about things? That means uh, being willing to learn and in many cases relearn what they think they know. What they knew has gone out the window. Now what have I got to learn? So being open-minded and being prepared to listen uh, is something that they're really going to have to be good at. Asking the right questions, really being good at que asking good questions, searching questions that are going to take you in the direction you need to go, not just any old question that can take you in the wrong direction with things. And probably the biggest of it all is to build trust, because a lot of this shift that's taking place is going to require a trusting relationship between leaders and their people. And have those leaders got the capability to uh, build that trust in, in their um, themselves and, their, and with their people. So I hope that's given you something to think about, a whole mindset shift that's, that's needed there, and the importance of working on that mindset over and above uh, just providing the necessary training. But that's been useful. All the best. Bye now.